name is Bethany Bongiorno. I live in San Francisco. I moved here from New York City in 2007. Uh, I started my STEM journey uh, in studying physics and math in college. Um, and that brought me to uh, ultimately end up in the tech sector working at Apple, where I spent uh, about um, eight and a half years working on the iPhone and the iPad and the operating systems uh, across the company and left there to start my own company at the end of 2016 that uh, I'm building some consumer hardware products. That's really awesome. So you had mentioned a little bit about, you know, your love for kind of physics and technology. What really inspired you to begin, you know, pursuing STEM? As a child, I really enjoyed learning, and my dad was actually really uh, an important part of that process. He used to take me, and my mom as well, they used to take me with them whenever they were doing projects around the house, like switching out light bulbs, rewiring um, outlets, uh, and things like that. And I think that got me really into uh, learning about how things work and, and really becoming obsessed with um, knowledge gathering. I had a physics teacher. He rode into class on a bicycle and was teaching about, you know, uh, in a very physical way and I think that really helped me um, get really excited about it it wasn't just words on a page it wasn't just formulas but it was you know actual examples of in the world around you Yeah, so I, I had the opportunity, you know, to, to work on some really amazing things at Apple. I really enjoyed working on consumer hardware. I loved working on consumer products. I loved being able to go outside and see people using, you know, using things that we built um, and getting their feedback. And sometimes it was good and sometimes it was bad. And yeah, it's just the next shift. It's what it's what we believe at Humane and, and my husband and I, what we believe to be the next shift in terms of how, you know, humans should be interacting with, with computers and with emerging technology. We feel that we have a, an amazing form factor and platform um, to really be the, the kind of thing for the post phone era. And so, yeah, it's super exciting and it's really innovative and, and ambitious, uh, which is not a shock. I think we knew we were going to do something big when we left um, and we have an incredible team and, and it's been really fun. Now that you have experienced a career in like physics and also math, um, software development, and now entrepreneurship, um, what specific struggles have you faced being a woman in these fields and how did you overcome them? It, it is a very male dominated field in terms of like even raising money and, and the fundraising space. Yeah. Um, and, and it's also not very diverse. Uh, and, and I have had a couple of instances where I've, you know, been having dialogues with investors and my husband is in the room um, and they'll only look at him when they're speaking. Uh, there's also a lot of assumptions, like sometimes they assume that I'm not the CEO and, and mm -hmm. they assume my husband is the CEO. And we've all made a lot of decisions around how we feel like people interact with us and say, you know what, like that didn't feel good that they weren't talking to me during the meeting and only talking to the men in the room. So we're not going to, you know, ask for them to come by. And really sticking to, you know, wanting to surround ourselves with people who support our values. And, and our value at Humane is 100% about, you know, creating a diverse work environment where people feel psychologically safe and supported and, and able to take risks. Well, just to finish things off, do you mind giving one piece of advice to an aspiring female tech entrepreneur? Yes, I would say um, meet as many people as you can. Um, I, I have learned uh, very quickly being an entrepreneur that um, having people you can call at any point and, and ask for help mm -hmm. and how important it, and how important it is to ask for help. You don't have to do it on your own. Um, reach out to people. You will find that that other entrepreneurs, especially uh, something that I actually have been really pleasantly surprised about the entrepreneur community, but they're really willing and excited to help other other people. And then I think my other big one that I always try to tell tell women is that you know be to be be strong and be brave and take risks and and push yourself outside of what you're comfortable with because I think we, we do have a tendency to hold ourselves back and feel like we're not worthy um, to do certain things and to ask for certain things. And I think we have to really, um, you know, 
push push ourselves outside of our comfort zone.